Good evening, I'm Mark Shillette. And I'm Melissa Smith, and tonight for Diana Fairbanks, 7 and 4 News at 6 starts now. Serving your town and all of northern Michigan, this is 7 and 4 News at 6. When police arrived, they found the, this, the victim of the assault dead in the bedroom. A Michigan State Police Sergeant was found dead in his Benzie County home earlier this morning, and now sheriff deputies are trying to determine what led up to his death. Benzie County deputies received the call a little after 1 o'clock this morning from the police sergeant's wife. She told them that she had shot her husband, Melvin Holbrook, who is a sergeant with the Michigan State Police Post, Traverse City. Deputies immediately responded to the call and arrived at the home on Derby Lane in Homestead Township near Honor. That's when jo Joni Holbrook admitted to shooting her husband and deputies found him dead in his bed. Benzie County deputies were alerted to this home in Homestead Township just after 1 a.m. on Monday. Homeowner Joni Holbrook told Central Dispatch that she shot her husband, Melvin Holbrook, a sergeant at the Michigan State Police Traverse City Post. What did she say on the phone for, to the 911 dispatcher? Well, advised that uh, <clears throat> there'd been assault, not in those specific words, but needed to get deputies there and three deputies responded to the scene immediately. Deputies say when they arrived, they found that Sergeant Holbrook had been shot dead in his bed. His wife, Joni Holbrook, again admitted to shooting her husband. She was calm and advised what had occurred. We don't know at this time what led up to the incident that is still being investigated by deputies. Joni Holbrook was then arrested and taken into custody. She was arraigned later Monday morning on an open charge of murder without bond. She's been charged with a crime. Uh, the next thing she'll have an, an attorney appointed for her or retained. And the next stage will be a, an examination or a prelim to determine uh, obviously the two questions. Was a crime committed and was there probable cause to believe she committed the crime? At this point, Sheriff Heckman says they're not releasing any information on a possible motive for the crime. We recovered some evidence. The crime lab, like I say, from the Grayling State Police Post came down and assisted with the scene, and evidence was collected, and it will be examined by uh, forensic uh, scientists, obviously, as the upcoming weeks come by. Sergeant Holbrook's body was taken to Spectrum Healthcare in Grand Rapids for an autopsy. Pending those results, Sheriff Heckman says they'll be able to determine the exact cause of death. Now, I did speak with Lieutenant Elliott, who worked with Sergeant Holbrook at the State Police Post in Traverse City. He tells me Sergeant Holbrook was always an energetic leader and someone who was actively involved in the community. He says Sergeant Holbrook will be greatly missed by everyone at the State Police Post.